hey everyone what's up and welcome back to the channel and in this video i will show you how to fix black screen for user emulator after launching or on launching or on startup or while playing games let's start as you can see on my computer screen i have user emulator and i have two games on my user emulator already selected my user game directory so i want to show you uh, something uh, important thing uh, to fix the the error uh, black screen on user emulator for any switch game so first of all i play this game and this game is uh, 32 bit make sure you have 32 bit games uh, or 64 bit game you can see new super my boss you deluxe 32 bit now i stop it and i try uh, to play another game so do not skip any part of this video so i try it again uh, i try this one so this game is uh, 64 bit you can see over here 64 bit now i stop it again and over here uh, if you are trying to play 32-bit game, then you will need uh, firmware files uh, for your user emulator. But we will talk about uh, firmware files later for our uh, uh, Switch games on user emulator. And uh, if you want to play new games on your user emulator, and uh, if you face, uh, if you are facing black screen. Uh, with your new games in your user emulator then you'll need latest version user emulator and new keys new firmware files and some more settings for your user emulator so as you can see i have uso 1460 in 2023 and if you are using a uh, user emulator in 2024 or 2025 then you'll need latest version user emulator if you're trying to play new games on your user emulator if you are trying to play new games on your older version user emulator then you cannot fix the issue uh, like black screen or other many issues uh, on your user emulator for your switch games guys i have many solutions of this problem so do not skip any part of this video and first solution of this problem is you need to update your user emulator if you're trying to play new games and solution number two go to file and open user folder and go to nan folder and system contents and register so you can see this folder is empty if you have already firmware files in this folder in a registered folder then make sure uh, you have latest version of uh, firmware files so uh, you can see um, over here and uh, I, I want to show you something more go to file open user folder and I have uh, another folder keys folder uh, but over here you can see uh, I have uh, firmware files 16.0.2 uh, in 2023 and if you want to use latest version firmware files in 2024 in or in 2025 uh, like uh, 17.0.0 or 18.0.0 then make sure you have latest version prod keys for example i i use this file uh, like this i drag and drop it and uh, uh, right click and extract here and all files uh, are here after extracting with Vendor. And uh, scroll down and delete uh, this file. Now I don't delete it, I cut it and paste here. And it's done. Now, uh, if you are uh, still facing black screen uh, after uh, using firmware files, then make sure you have latest version prod keys uh, for your user emulator and if you don't have latest version keys for your user emulator then uh, you can uh, use older version firmware files like 15.0.0 uh, or 14.0.0 so i delete these files from here like this uh, 
I delete these files and uh, now right click and extract here and scroll down and cut it and paste here uh, otherwise you can delete this file so as you wish and it's done close it and close it after uh, updating your firmware files or your proud keys or title key you should restart your user emulator restart it then solution number three go to emulation and configuration and go to graphics tab over here and over here api settings uh, if you are uh, uh, using opengl uh, uh, over here uh, for your Swiss games on user emulator then you can try Vulkan from here because Vulkan is better than OpenGL uh, for performance or any other issue like black screen or graphics glitches so you can try Vulkan and you can select your GPU device I mean your graphics card already installed in your PC so uh, and if you are using multiple GPU devices then you can select your powerful GPU device from here and after selecting your GPU device from here and go to uh, this one if you have uh, internal GPU device then you can select the CPU video decoding from here it's a very important thing and if you have external GPU device then you can select GPU device GPU video recording default so I am using uh, my external GPU I show you and go to uh, search bar on your windows and type here device manager and uh, device manager go to control panel and uh, guys do not skip this part it's very important thing uh, to fix black screen for user emulator and uh, I want to show you important thing over here go to display adapter and uh, right click and go to properties and over here you can see my GP device and go to drivers and you can see over here details uh, for your uh, uh, drivers already installed for your GP device and your PC so you can see over here driver date and driver version if you are using older version drivers for your gpu then you can uh, you cannot fix uh, uh, black screen like graphics glitches or any other issue if you are using older version drivers then please update your drivers for your gpu first for your gpu device so i have latest version drivers for my gpu in 2023 and uh, after selection uh, of your uh, GPU device and you can select from here resolution scale 1x if you select another uh, uh, 2x or 3x then you can face lagging issue or or graphical issues uh, or black screen then you can uh, change from here so I recommend this one 1x 720p by what 1080p so and uh, window uh, adapting filter and over here you can select AMD super resolution uh, if you are using Vulkan then you can use this option from here and check these all options from here already uh, selected by default and uh, go to advanced options and over here you can see uh, check this option check it and uncheck this option otherwise you can uh, check this option if you face uh, black screen or any other texture glitches so check this option if you face a uh, crashing problem then you can uncheck this option but i i check it at this time and check this this option and select high from here and select uncompressed best quality and select automatic and it's done okay and make sure your all settings uh, in your user emulator uh, all seems uh, for your uh, switch game right click and go to properties and general multi-core cpu advanced tab so all settings same over here you can see okay and properties 
and all settings are same you can see okay and uh, if you have uh, recently updated your drivers for your gpu then make sure your all settings for your uh, control panel for your uh, nvidia or amd or intel hd graphics uh, are already completed so right click and go to nvidia control panel because i am using uh, nvidia gpu uh, in my pc so uh, we need some more settings for our gpu device fix black screen for user emulator and go to adjust image setting check this option and select performance from here and check this option and apply and uh, go to configure surround and select your gpu device from here if you have internal gpu then select cpu and if you have external gpu then select your gpu device and if you are using multiple gpu devices then you can select and you can choose your powerful gpu from here so i have only one gpu device so this is why i i choose this one and apply and uh, now we need some more settings for our gpu device go to manage 3d settings and uh, scroll down and uh, opengl rendering gpu if you want to use opengl on your uh, user emulator then select your uh, gpu device from here and power management mod uh, maximum performance and just scroll down and texture filtering quality texture filtering quality uh, uh, can fix your graphical issues or black screen select high performance from here and click on apply and go to program settings and go to add and go to browse options and browse and select your uh, Ijuzo emulator application file right click and open file location and select your application file for user open and apply now all settings are completed now now close it and uh, uh, for more settings right click and go to display settings and uh, scroll down go to graphic settings yeah graphic settings and i remove my other application file and browse and go to your Yuzo emulator application file so my Yuzo is on my computer desktop open file location and i select this file add and options and high performance as you can see gpu and media geforce save and it's done and now all settings are completed if you are still facing black screen for your user emulator for your switch games then i will show you uh, another solution uh, if you are still facing the issue go to file open user folder and delete your shaders folder from here delete it and close it and restart your user emulator after deleting shaders folder if you still facing black screen then go to file and open user folder and create a new folder over here on your pc desktop and sometimes uh, when we update our user emulator again and again so we can face black screen issues and any other issue uh, so we need to delete all files from here like cache and configuration folder and dump and keys load so uh, if you want to use your all game data then you can use this folder later so i cut it i paste here and uh, i, I uh, uh, close my user emulator first and try again yep now close it and close it reopen your user emulator and uh, reuse reinstall uh, all files like your proud keys uh, open keys and go to your keys folder and copy these proud keys and paste here go to nan folder go to new nan folder system 
content registered and go to old NAND folder open it open system content registered and all copy all files from here like this you need all files copy and paste here and it's done now restart your user emulator now you can select your game directory so already selected from here you can see and uh, for more solutions uh, go to emulation and configuration uh, some games work able with OpenGL and some games work able with Vulkan so you can try both options select your uh, OpenGL from here and select GLSL otherwise you can select uh, this one and ok and try again so i hope this video will help you guys if you like it then please subscribe and thanks for watching bye bye see you in the next video